Dwight Lewis scored a career-high 26 points to help lead the Trojans back from a double-digit first-half deficit and defeat the University of San Francisco 74-69 at the Galen Center. The Dons limited Taj Gibson to just two first-half points and nine for the game, but behind Lewis, Daniel Hackett's 18, and DeMar DeRozan's 11, USC rallied to remain perfect at home and improved to 5-2 and two for the season. Sometimes you have to match a team's patience. Can't come down and fire on one pass when you're down 10. Uh, trying to catch up uh, as, as poised as they were tonight. Um, obviously, Dwight Lewis had a big game for us offensively. I thought he was uh, terrific. To get a uh, late tight games in the preseason with a team like this that runs the offense and know what they're doing, it's, it's good for our young guys and it's good for us to you know, get in shape. We've got a lot of games like this in the Pac-10. We're going to find many teams that are going to you know, double down and, and clog that pain to not get Taj off. And, uh, I thought Dwight was good tonight, uh, DeMar was good, Dante was solid. Uh, it was a good team effort, and uh, as I say, we're a work in progress. We're trying to get better. Uh, we're not a flawless team, and, and we're going to be okay. The Dons got off to a quick start and led by as many as 12 midway through the first half. The Trojans responded to take a one-point lead into the break, but the teams would trade leads throughout the second. USC, however, would finish on a 21 to 15 run to seal the much needed victory. It's real good because it, it, it shows what we have to do when we down. We really got to get down, lock, lock in between our men and, and play defense. That's the only way. We can't always outshoot a team to come back, but defense will definitely get you back in the game in any game. Up next, USC travels to Oklahoma to take on the number six ranked Sooners, a team USC beat last year at home and after falling from the rankings this year, an opportunity to pick up a huge victory on the road. Uh, it was a big opportunity for us, a good chance to redeem ourselves against uh, from Puerto Rico. Uh, we lost two big leads we had in Puerto Rico. It's a good. We gotta go out and get this win against Oklahoma. We can help ourselves a little bit after what happened in Puerto Rico. Uh, it's gonna be a tough challenge. Uh, they have a lot of good players, uh, and we go in there with no pressure. You know, the pressure is gonna be on them, and uh, we're gonna try to play a solid game. Game is on Thursday at 6 p.m. and can be seen live on ESPN2 as part of the Big 12 Pac-10 Hardwood Series. Reporting for USCTrojans.com, I'm Mark Haas.